Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, algebraic expressions. And for this top, uh, this lesson, we are going to look at factorization of algebraic expressions. So you want to see what factorization of algebraic expressions is all about. And then uh, we have a few questions to help us illustrate what that is all about. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll give you some questions in the form of assignment to help you practice and also just to help you get on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So previously we talked about uh, removal of uh, brackets, like when you are, have brackets, we talked of expanding and simplifying. So you want to see how we reintroduce the brackets. You know, factorization is all about reintroducing the brackets in the, in the algebraic expression that is available. Like for example, here we have now 3P, plus 3r plus 3q plus 3r how do you factorize how do you introduce the bracket so that is what we want to do and this is our first example so this is what we shall do we have uh, first of all you can add this to this because they are like terms so we now have 3p plus 3q plus 3r plus 3r so we'll add this to give us 6r so 3p plus 3q plus 6r now this one here if you want to factorize we look for a number that a factor that can be common to all that can divide all of them like in this case it's 3 so we have 3 into p so once 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 you identify the the common factor, you know, 3 is here, 3 is a factor here, 3 is a factor there. And actually, it's supposed to be the highest common factor. Like, So, like, 3 here is the highest factor that can divide all the terms, you know. Then once you identify that highest common factor, then now you divide each of the terms by that. For example, 3p divided by 3 is p. Now, now 3p, you divide by 3, cancel 3, and the answer is p. C. So that is, again, 3q divided by 3, 3 cancels that, and then you have q. So plus q, and then plus 6r divided by 3. So 6r divided by 3. So 3 here, 1, 3, there are 2, 2 by r is 2r. So you see now, so we have 3 into p plus q plus 2r. So that is the simplest form of that algebraic expression. You can see now we have reintroduced back the, the brackets. Initially, we were talking about removing the brackets, which was about um, the number outside the bracket multiplying all the terms inside the bracket. And you see, if you do that, you still get back to where you were up here. So we have the second example here. So again, we have uh, 6r and 2r are like terms, so you can simply add them, collect them together. So we have 4k plus 2s plus 6r plus 2r. So we have 4k plus 2s plus 8r. Now, if you look at all these, the first term, second term, and third term, they have something that is common, or we have a common factor, you know, highest common factor, the GCD here is 2. So then you can divide all, all the terms by that too, so that you get 2k. Remember now, 4k divided by 2. 2 here, 1, 2 there, 2. 2 by k is 2k. Now 2s divided by 2 here, 1, 2 there, 1. So 1 by s is s. Now 8r, and we are dividing by 2 here, 1, 2 there, 4. 4 by r is 4r. So this simplifies into 2 into, so it's read as 2 into 2k plus s plus 4r. So you see there is a bracket there. So that is that is the simplest form of this expression that is up here. We have another one here. So we have another one here, 5a minus 
10 b plus 5 again you can see there is a common factor here there is a common factor the highest common factor here is is actually 5 then you divide all of them by all the terms here by 5 so we do the math on this other side so 5a you divide by 5 goes there 1 5 goes there 1 so we have a minus 10b divided by 5 5 here 1 5 there 2 2 by b is 2b and of course 5 divided by 5 is 1 so this can be simplified into 5 into a minus 2b plus 1 you see that is the factorized form of of that so that is how we are supposed to to do it let me see this other one as well so again this one here you have a common factor you know common factor here is seven that is the highest common factor you know the the, the gcd so you divide each term by that seven you know once you identify a, a, a highest common factor like seven then divide each term by that so 28 divided by 7 is 4. Then this is minus 21 divided by 7 is. So 21w, and we are dividing by 7. So 7 here, 1, 7 there, 3. 3 by w. So 3w plus, again, 14t. And then we are dividing by 7. 7 here, 1, 7 there, 2 times. 2 by t is 2t. So we have uh, 28 minus 21 W plus 14 T being equal to 7 into 4 minus 3 W plus 2 T. You see this one here. So we have again reintroduced the bracket as you can see. So take note, we look for the highest common factor here between this, you know. There is this, this, what's the highest, what's the number, what is the highest number that can divide all of them? That is 7. So again, we have uh, this one here. Now this one has powers. So this is a little bit tricky, it's more tricky. So you look for, like this one you have to start with the, either when you have the coefficients, you have to check the common coefficients, like in this case, I mean we, we, we're talking of common coefficients other than one so in this case it's only one so one we ignore but then you move to the second letter i mean the first letter after the coefficient which is a so which one is the common one so here there is a power three there is a power two and there is a power one so it means that the common the one that is available in all of them is a you see so that is the common factor here and then you move to B, there is B power 1, B power 2, and B power 3. So the one that is common is B power. In this case, you have to go for the lowest power. Like now, it's, it's uh, B, you see. So you divide, again, each term by the common factors. So let's divide and see. So we have A power 3, B, divided by AB. So we have a times a times a. That is what a power 3 means. a is multiplied 3 times. And then by b, divided by a times b. So b cancels b, a cancels a. How many a's are, are remaining? a squared. Plus, again, the second term here, you divide it by, by a b. So the second term now, it's a squared b squared divided by a b so this is a by a which is a squared and again b by b which is b squared remember this is a squared b squared so you divide it by a b so a, a times b that is a b means a times b so a cancels a b cancels b what is remaining is a b minus again a b cubed divided by a b you can do it so a b cubed divided by a b this is a times b 
times b times b. So b is multiplied by itself two times. So b is multiplied three times. So we have a times b down here. So a cancels a, b cancels b. Then you have b times b, which is b squared. And you have this as the right answer. So it means then that that number a cubed b, a squared b squared minus, okay, a cubed b plus a squared b squared minus a b cubed factorizes into a b into a squared plus a b minus minus b squared. You see. So that is basically what you're supposed to do. Take note of how we are uh, multiplying and dividing. So we have a few questions here to help you practice. Uh, to help you practice on uh, factorization of algebraic expressions. You can always attempt in case there are questions that you want to seek clarification on. You can always uh, post on the comment section. We look at it and we'll be able to give feedback in the due course. Otherwise, this marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.